Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So then here when, when we talk about stomach, now here it is important to talk about some of the very important digestive glands. So one such digestive gland is liver. In fact, liver is the largest gland in the human body. What is a gland? Gland is any such organ which secretes hormones, enzymes and these secretions play a very important role in our body. So liver secretes bile juice which is stored in the gallbladder. Where is liver? So this is liver. The red colored structure which you see that is liver and this liver is going to secrete bile juice and the bile juice is stored in the gallbladder. So here the green colored structure which you see here that is gallbladder. Now what is the function of bile juice? This juice helps in digestion of fats. So carbohydrate is done, proteins was also done in the stomach. So we are left out with fats. So the digestion of fats happen with the help of bile juice and this bile juice is secreted by liver and it is stored in the gallbladder. So this juice makes the medium alkaline. So alkaline is just the opposite of acid. So you have something called acid, you have something called base. Base is nothing but alkaline. So it is basic in nature, bile juice. So what does it do in the basic environment? It activates the action of pancreatic and intestinal enzymes. That is these small intestine also releases certain enzymes. So these intestinal enzymes need a basic environment. They do not want acidic environment for their function. Similarly, the enzymes which are released by the pancreas. Pancreas is the other gland we are going to talk about. So just behind the stomach, you can see a green colored leaf like structure. So this green colored structure is nothing but the pancreas. So pancreas also secretes some pancreatic enzymes. So all these enzymes help in digestion of food. Pancreatic enzymes, intestinal enzymes, bile juice from liver. So basically bile juice will help to digest the fats and uh, convert them into less complex forms. And what about the pancreas? It is the second largest gland. It secretes pancreatic juice. So the enzymes which are secreted from the pancreas, that is the pancreatic enzymes, it, it contains all types of enzymes which can digest both carbohydrates, proteins as well as fats. So it has trypsin which helps in digestion of proteins, pancreatic amylase which helps in digestion of starch and pancreatic lipase which helps in digestion of fats. So if you see now you might ask that just now you told that in the mouth itself the carbohydrates gets digested by salivary amylase. Now what I said was of course the digestion of carbohydrates happen there but the digestion doesn't get completed. It is not that the carbohydrates get completely digested. Still some portion of it remain undigested. So they are again acted upon by pancreatic amylase. Right? So whichever is left over undigested carbohydrate, proteins or fats, they are all acted upon by these pancreatic enzymes. So all these pancreatic enzymes and also the enzymes from the intestines, they need an alkaline environment and that alkaline environment is provided by the bile juice. So now you, if you see here, the liver is connected to the gallbladder, liver secretes bile juice which is stored in this gallbladder. So if you see here, here you have a tube like structure which is connected to the stomach. So basically this secretion of the bile juice, it reaches this place. Correct? Similarly, if you look at the pancreas, the green colored structure behind, that is also connected to the stomach and the intestine here. So that portion where the food enters from stomach to intestine, so at that region, both the pancreatic enzymes as well as the bile juice, they also join that area. So basically, the food particles are uh, exposed to the pancreatic enzymes and the bile juice. So that's how the environment becomes alkaline, pancreatic enzymes become active. So again digestion happens due to the action of pancreatic enzymes and then finally. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.